Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Our Bible reading for today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. In this passage, Jesus prepares his disciples for life after his, his death, his resurrection, and his ascension. Jesus assures his friends that they will be reunited. I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. This passage draws our attention to the future and our place in the eternal home of God. And this is, of course, a, a beautiful and wonderful thing for us to, to feel that assurance about. But it's also important for us to remember to remember that we are still able to experience that fellowship with Christ, even as we are living in this world. Isaac the Syrian lived in the seventh century, and he committed himself to life within monastic Christian community. Prayer for Isaac was a way of experiencing that deep fellowship with Christ. It is the fellowship that brings peace. Here's what Isaac wrote. Be at peace with your own soul. Then heaven and earth will be at peace with you. Enter eagerly into the treasure house that is within you. And so you will see the things that are in heaven. For there is but one single entry to them both. The ladder that leads to the kingdom is hidden in your soul. Flee from sin, dive into yourself, and in your soul you will discover the stairs by which to ascend. For your prayer time, sit on a, a step ladder or on the, the stairs that you have in your house. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you find peace in the treasure house of God's love. May this be a time in which you are able to experience that union of heaven and earth that changes our perspective so that we are able to live more fully the love of God in our own lives.